Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley. If you guys are new and if you are a returning subscriber, I am so glad you guys are back for another video. If you like lifestyle content and productivity, you are in the right place. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and like this video if you have not already. And you might as well go over to my Instagram and all my other social media and follow along on there because you're not going to want to miss out on all the fun that we have. But today I was thinking about something that kind of struck a chord with me. Over the past six years of running May Movement and learning a lot of things on my own about business, finance, design, all kinds of things like that, I wanna be able to share it with you guys. And today I wanna to share how to create a website and why to create a website. Cause you might be thinking, Haley, why do I need a website? I don't have a business. The future is the internet. Everything is going mobile. Everything is going to be computer based and having a presence is very important. Now you might not have a product to sell or you might not be a blogger or anything like that, but I'm sure that at some point in your life, you're either going to be an entrepreneur or you're gonna have a job. So if you're choosing to have a job and you're going to need a resume, what better way than to have a digital online resume where your employer can really get a sense of who you are, what you're about and see it in a visual way. Not only is it very creative and ingenuitive, but it looks really good and they're gonna be very impressed with it. So when I first started May Movement, I knew nothing about creating a website and I was like, how are we gonna do this? E-commerce is everything and I am 16 years old and have no clue what I'm doing. But luckily I turned to Wix and they helped me a ton. So I created the first May Movement website using Wix.com. I will have it linked down below for you guys. It's a free website creator. It's drag and drop. It's super easy. And since I started using it, they've improved even more. I mean, the options that you have are so amazing and everything looks so professional, like it's insane. So initially when I set up May Movement, I decided that I was going to do this all by myself, create the domain or purchase the domain and then link everything. So there are different plans within Wix. You can have your website be blah, blah, blah at Wix.com or you can purchase different plans whether you want to have a business plan or not. And those are different ranges depending on the features that you get, but they have tons of built in plugins for your website. So you can link, you know, your YouTube channel, your constant contact or email form. Um, you can have scheduling apps on there, membership logins. I mean, there are literally tons of different things you can do. So I'm gonna walk through how to make a website right now with you guys live. We should probably get to my computer, so let's go do that. All right, so when you first open up Wix, you are brought to the back end where you can see all of the different features that will be within your site. You can also manage different sites if you were to have multiple sites like I have here. I had a HaleyCairo.com, I had the main movement, and I created different May Movement websites. Never launched them, but if I wanted to edit a new one, that was a possibility, which was really cool. So we're actually gonna go into the copy of one of my old HaleyCairo.com websites and just kind of show you how I go about doing just all of the drag and drop features and show you just how simple it is to really create your own personal site. What's so great about Wix is it makes it very easy to do exactly what your brain is kind of thinking you want it to do. For example, I can make all of these photos link to certain pages. So if I wanted to link it to my YouTube channel or back to a main movement website, it's very easy to do. In here, you can kind of see the back end on what this website has. So, you know, if I have a, um, uh, personal domain for this, if there's a specific business plan for it, all the different preferences, um, you can go in and, you know, duplicate it again if you wanted to edit it. And that's pretty much what I was doing here. One of my favorite aspects of Wix is how they break up the templates into specific themes. So that way, whatever you're creating your website for or whatever your kind of like aesthetic is, there's something for you. And there are so many new ones since I created my website. I was going through them getting like all excited, like, oh, I could do this and that with my website. But we're just gonna pick one that I really like. Now you can also hire somebody from Wix to help you create your website. But for today, I'm just gonna show you guys how you can do it on your own because really it's so simple. So when you first launch a brand new template, it will have some filler photos, some text, some colors, but pretty much you can change every single thing about it. So here's what we've got. 
nice little headshot here about Jessica Priston, aspiring journalist. So we are going to change this to my name. We're going to make this kind of like my own little resume website. And let's just hypothetically say that I don't like these fonts or the color of that peach background. All of that can be changed. Super simple. As you can see, as you click on things, you're prompted with different features. So everything is kind of right at your fingertips. If there was something on this page that you felt it needed, like a video or something like that, um, if you go to the left side of the page, it says add, and you can go through all of those lists and see where you can find different things to feature, whether it's like a gallery, a shop button, all kinds of different things to help make your photo or your page come to life. So we're going to play around with these fonts a little bit because I'm just like not feeling the one that it came with. So changing it to a nice bold photo. Now, obviously this photo is not mine, so I'm going to change the photo and all of my previous May movement photos are still in my gallery, which is really cool. And you can organize your gallery into different folders, which I never did. And I really should have. So all of my old folders are just kind of scattered in here. So we're just going to pick this one. You can make this photo larger if you would like, but I think it's pretty good the size that it is. I'm just going to pull some of these things down. As you can see, everything super easy. You literally just drag and drop. Now, as you scroll down the page, you have different aspects of this page, like a little resume area. So all of this information could be changed for you. Then there's a contact page, which the back end of that will have to be um, figured for your information if you have a newsletter. The contact form is great even if you are just using this for a resume because your potential employer could use that to contact you. So since I didn't like this peach background, we're just going to play around with this. As you can see, Wix comes with a ton of really great stock photos and banners and different textures that you guys can play around with. But I think we're just going to do something pretty neutral here. Along with different plugins, you will also be able to add your own social links, which is a great feature because in today's day and age, social media is your ticket. So you can go in here and change the link to your personal link so that way people can find you very, very fast. As you edit a website, I recommend going through and previewing it to make sure that your links are working properly. So if you go to the top right hand corner, you can see the preview button. So we're going to click on that and make sure that the Instagram links properly. And that it does. And you can also view it in a mobile setting because you want to make sure that your website is mobile friendly. Now, the other thing I want to show you guys are just some of these extra features here on the left hand side. Look at all of the different forms and widgets and plugins that you guys can do. I mean, seriously, the options are endless. You could sit here for hours just going through all the cool features, um, but it will also kind of help you to make sure that you're checking things off that you might not have thought about adding. It's a very good way to just make sure that your website is as optimized and as functional as possible. You can also take photos directly from your Facebook and Instagram, Drive, a Dropbox, and upload it straight to your website. Again, everything can become a link. As you can see over here, there are tons of features that you can do with just a added photo. Pretty cool. Just in case you guys will be using this for a more in-depth sort of website, I want to show you guys the app marketplace. Tons of great plugins, maybe some that you are already using, such as MailChimp or something like that. There is a app for that. So obviously Instagram is on there. You can have like an Instagram feed on your website like this. You can see like the, the live feed. Pretty cool. I like that feature. It's very popular right now on a lot of blogs. So even if you're not really sure if you need a website or you want to make a website, I recommend going into Wix, making a template, playing around in the marketplace, seeing if anything catches your eye because you never know what you might need this for. I know a lot of people who use this in high school even to do projects and presentations because it's such a unique visual way to execute an idea. So if you guys have any questions about how to use Wix or my experience, leave them in the comments below because I can definitely help you guys out. I've been using them for a long time and I I just love everything about the system because it's so user friendly and it's really helped my movement grow. So thank you Wix for helping me achieve my dreams and I want to help you guys achieve yours. You guys know that is a huge part of why I make videos. So please don't hesitate to ask any questions. But with all of that, let's go back to my bedroom and wrap up this video. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wanted to give a very brief and easy to understand overview of how to create a website and also why you need a website. I really would love to know what you guys are planning to do if you do create a website. Are you doing this for work, a resume? Are you trying to be self-expressive? Are you planning on starting a brand? Leave your comments down below and ask me any questions that you have because at this point I'm like a Wix pro. I've been doing this for so long. If you guys need help, I'm your girl. But I hope you guys are doing well. Don't forget to follow along on my social media accounts because you want to stay in the loop about new content, exclusive giveaways, and things of that nature. But until the next time I see you, I hope you're doing well. Enjoy your summer and I'll see you later. Bye!